What is good YouTube and we are back at it again with another sit down video and in today's video as you guys see in the title we are talking about how everyone starts from somewhere different and in this life we all grow up and you don't get to choose where you grew up you don't get to choose who your parents are you don't get to choose what type of house you were born in and I just want everyone to understand that this video is for everyone to relate to and understand that in this life when we have excuses when we have so many reasons why we can't and we just throw it off to the side because every single excuse in our life is just giving us another reason why not to and i think if anyone wants to reach their goals in their life they need to start figuring out how to do it instead of not doing it and this life is all customized by your mind and if you truly believe me and understand what i'm saying you probably started the journey yourself you probably understand that in this life that there's millions of excuses and they're probably there in front of you for a reason because if they're not there in front of you for a reason then you could easily accomplish any goals you want in your life because you understand that there's no distractions and every single distraction that comes in your way is trying to hold you back and if you want your goal you don't want to be holding back you want to go full all in so that's why i think this video can relate to many of you guys out there going after your goals, going after your dreams, especially if you grew up in a different situation than that person over there that has everything they wanted. And I think that's very, very important for us to focus on today's video on how many people grow up with nothing. Many people grow up in this life and they don't have everything given to them. They don't have a way out. And the way to figure out your way out is to start focusing on yourself. I know growing up, going to school, you get in that friendship with people, you have a bunch of friends and you guys start going out, hanging out, focusing on the girls, the drinks, the partying, and you really stop focusing on your purpose as a whole. You really just eliminate that purpose and start focusing on what makes you happy because in the situation you were in before, you weren't enjoying your life because you weren't growing up in a house that felt good or felt safe or felt like you were belonging there. And that made you go for a search to be happy. And that's all you wanted to feel is happy because you looked at everyone else and they all felt happy. So you wanted to feel that yourself. And that's why you started going chasing after those things, these distractions, these things that are actually truly taking you away from your true purpose at the end of the day. And if you guys are still watching this video and kind of understand what I'm saying, this is for you. And I really want you guys to start trying to find that purpose in your life because we all have a purpose. We all have a dream. We all have something that we really focus on more than anything else. And what I mean by that is you understand some people like going to school. When they go to school, they feel in love with it. Like they feel involved. They, they enjoy what they're getting told. They enjoy what they're getting taught. And they enjoy that teacher that cares for them and helps for them. But Many people don't like school. Many people like sports and they go to the sports and they find that love there and they, the coach helps them and they find the love from the coach. And some people don't like sports and then it goes, etc. on and on for whatever your purpose is in this life. You have a different feeling towards it than many other people. And you probably know what that is by me just saying this and whatever that is, truly give it everything in your life and you will never regret it. If you give your life, 100% into what you want, your purpose, you will always grow, you will always evolve through that purpose. And the reason why I think it's so important to really love what you're doing in this life is because if you want something, if you want to grow in something, you have to focus all your energy, you have to put 100% of your energy into it every single day. That means when you wake up, the first thought of your mind is probably going to be that purpose. And many people, if they don't like what they're doing, and the first thought when they're waking up is that thing, then they're going to hate their lives. They're not going to want to wake up. So that's why it's so important to focus on what you're doing each day and loving it. Being in love with what you're doing will only grow it more and more and more. And this video can relate to anyone. I know I really talked about the people that weren't feeling love at home and they're searching for it through these other things and that's how you find purpose but even if you have everything that many people in society look at as everything with a nice home with your two parents there and they they can give you drives anywhere and you can play any sport you want to play or you can get any clothes you want to get 
that doesn't automatically mean you feel love. That doesn't automatically mean that is your purpose and your life is set right there because many people feel fake love because at that point, when someone has reached that success of where they can have a home and give their kids anything they want, they really are searching for it within themselves because their whole purpose was to get there. And now they got there, what is next? And everyone in this life is on an endless search for what's next. So I would never say there's a certified spot of where everyone's feeling happy and the purpose is fulfilled and you you feel perfect because that is just a fake life and that is not real. All of us go through this. All of us go through struggle, no matter if you're rich or if you're poor. But the end of the day is what you gain out of the situations you're in. And the reason why I talked about the situation of growing up and not having a lot of things is because that's a situation I can relate to and explain to you guys that that there's a perspective to everything. And I really want you guys to understand that if you're in the kind of same situation as me, or if you're even in the opposite situation as me, keep striving after your goals, keep striving after your dreams, and that's how you'll make it possible. And find love, find love through what you're doing, find love through your family, find love through your friends, and just try to make as much positive energy as you possibly can. Try to put out as much positive energy as you can. And you will understand that you will get it back. You will understand that your life will start to evolve through time to the person you want to be.